Look at that. Uploading. I'm so productive. Oh, why is that open? I was just about to show you guys how clean it was in my house. That looks so messy because this cupboard's open. And we're good. Boom. Look how... Oh, I forgot that was there too. Oh, guys, my house is never clean. I think we have to just accept, accept that talking. I need to go slower when I talk because I never think about what I say. We all know this about me, but apparently I don't know this about myself still. Um, yes, the cleaners came in yesterday. Cassandra is very happy and feeling very well put together at the moment. So that means we can probably get a painter in here to start painting the house. Oh yeah. You guys, I don't even know how much you're updated on. Where do I start? Okay, one, I have to be somewhere right now, so I gotta make this quick. Two, uh, we're looking at updating the house to either possibly sell it or live in a very beautiful, newly looking house. So those are the things that we're looking at and we've cleared out um, a lot of the rooms that were really, really messy and made it look a lot nicer. This one still needs a little bit of work, but it's getting there and what else do you guys need to be updated on? Oh, um, I didn't tell you guys this, but I'm seeing a dietitian, and she's made me do a food journal for two weeks, and I did great the first week. Second week, not so much. I'm trying to remember all the things I ate, and I've just been like two days behind, so trying to remember exactly what time you ate it, what you ate, and if you go to a restaurant, you have to like know the portions and stuff. It's like really hard, but um, I'm trying to figure out healthy ways to lose weight without making my... Um, I guess like, uh, well, when women lose weight, if you don't lose it healthily, your hormones go all crazy and stuff. So I'm trying to do it healthily so that I don't go crazy and I do it healthily. And before when I was losing weight, I was just like cutting everything out and that's just not good for your body. So I've been eating a lot more, but that also means I've gained weight. Not a lot, but I have to look at these things because when I double girls, they're always so tiny. So I have to be tiny as well. So that's an adventure. So it's like, yo bros, got socks in my hands, but yo bros, I'm learning lots about my body and it's really cool. Found out that I have a minor degree of ADHD, probably. And I also found out that um, I have um, anxiety a lot more than I thought I did. Um, but these are all things that I think a lot of people have. So it's nothing that's like new or, um, that like detrimental to like what I do or who I am makes me who I am. So I think that is really cool to know that about me. So actually knowing that I get anxiety um, actually helps me in situations where I start feeling it and I'm like, oh, I don't need to feel this way. And then I kind of overcome it. So it's really good that I've been learning all this stuff and I know a dietitian is telling me I have ADHD. I've already gone over this with people. It's there's different degrees of ADHD. I've learned she specializes in ADHD. It's not that she's going to correct my diet to get rid of ADHD. She's just making me aware of what my body's like and things like that. Anyway, I don't feel like having to justify this over the internet. I've already had plenty of conversations with people about this. So, anyway, um, have I updated you on everything? Now do you know everything about my life? Are you happy? Because I hope you are. Because it's been a while. Um, what am I doing with my life? Oh, cleaning up a little bit, getting ready to go. Yes. Okay, purse. Ready to go. Oh, it's so heavy because there's so many things in it all the time. Boom. Life. Let's do this. I like to point out that it's not just about losing weight, but it's also about living a healthier lifestyle. So I don't want to like be like, oh, everybody. You better lose weight so that you're really tiny. No, it's just about eating healthy. And sometimes I have a really hard time eating healthy because I'm lazy. And I get home and I'm like, oh my gosh, like everybody else in the world. You get home and you're like, I don't want to do anything. I've spent all my brain power. The last thing I want to do is spend brain power on what I should eat to be healthy. So I'm just trying to learn and better myself. So before anyone's like, you don't need to lose any more weight. I just want to get toned, you know? Because that toning will help me be that size that I need to be. Right now, I've got some chocolate weight on me because this girl loves her chocolate. 
<laughs> anyway, okay, I need to go. Look, I'm late. I'm supposed to be at my friend's house right now. I'm a jerk. Okay, I gotta go. I've been so good with cosplay things and I've been staying away from the fabric store. But then Ashley and I hung out. Wait, what were you saying? Have you seen these? <laughs> boy leotards? No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yes, boy, leave time. <laughs> no, I haven't, but now I have. Um, and she's um, getting that cosplay inspiration back into me, which is like, no, I have too many things I want to do. <laughs> You're the worst, Ashley, but also the best. <laughs> and boys and leotards. I have a serious dilemma going on right now. My brain capacity is about, like, the size of a peanut because I'm really hungry slash I'm not feeling very creative right now and Connor and I have you guys have they met you no oh guys this is Connor Hi. this is also in reference this is <laughs> Ashley's boyfriend and that's how we met and he's got a YouTube channel right two two YouTube channels two what are you doing with your life uh, that's hard that. <laughs> that's what I'm doing with my life well, he's going to make a YouTube video, and we were like, we should make a YouTube video together. And you do challenges, right? Challenges, how to do sketches, vlogs, fun stuff. So we need help figuring out a challenge that we want to do. We've come up with many ideas, but I've x nade some of those. <laughs> like he's Just shutting me down. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> he wants me to try a hot pepper on camera, and I don't want to, like, poop fire. They're going to, you know. <laughs> No, that one's, that one's out of the question. We need something a little more safe. Girly. Girly, no. Mm -hmm. I can do guy <laughs> stuff. Whatever. <laughs> I just don't want to, you know, have peppers going through my esophagus. That's all. Okay. <laughs> okay, so please help us. Comments below. Oh, and his links will be below as well. So yesterday's video, I posted my brother's grad walk, and the thing that shocks me the most is because we are so far apart, but I also vlogged my grad walk, which is insane to me. I'm like, I can't believe that I vlogged for three years every day. Like, ah, how things have changed, but at the same time, wow, that was, that was a lot of work, and after not vlogging for a while, I realized, like, how private my life could be. I'm totally going on a tangent right now, but, oh, I miss vlogging every day, but I also don't miss editing every night. That was a lot of work. But at the same time, it was a lot of work that was well paid off because I got to know you guys so well. That's the one thing that I miss so much is I feel like I'm disconnected in some way by only posting a video a week. Like, we're still connected, but not as connected, you know? Anyway. My brother's old! I'm old! This is weird! All of the things! Uh, stunt bag, where are you? You're in here. Hey, I'm warm as butts. Today's a hot day and I decided to wear a big sweater and that was a bad idea. I should make that bed. It's really bothering me. I'm so not ready for this night shoot. Night shoots are the pits. But I'm working, so I can't complain. <laughs> okay, okay, come on, Cassandra, get your stuff together. Uh, I'm so organized, you guys. Oh, yeah, and you know what? My mom said if she doesn't go on a road trip to find work, she'd come down here and help me, like, do all the stuff I need to do to my place. Um, so that might mean stuff will get done sooner than I thought it would because we have to get, like I said, the painters in. We have to also get a drywaller in. And we also have to declutter the place, which all the stuff that we decluttered in the house is all in the garage. That stuff is hard to deal with. <laughs> Mom's to the rescue. <laughs> I don't know if it's a for sure thing. If not, I will get it done. It's just like when moms come into town, it seems to get done all at once, which is amazing. I don't think I'd be a good mom. <laughs> Not thinking of that anytime soon, but just pointing out that was awkward. I'm just gonna stop talking now. Good morning. Today's face to you brought. Mm, mm, nope. Nope. Today's face brought to you by four hours of sleep. Speaking also by four hours of sleep. Woo. <laughs> Sandara and I are in the States right now. And Sandara, what are we about to do? We're gonna drive sideways. Oh, yeah. Just you wait. You'll understand in about five, four, and seven seconds. 
my favorite thing about these kinds of events is when people are like, oh, you're a girl, you're in the wrong line, you must not be driving. And then she's like, uh, no, I think I'm in the right line. No, the guest line's over there. It's like, gosh, can't girls do things too? I was gonna finger the camera and then realize that my sisters might be watching. <laughs> Let's go do some driving. I'm gonna do some guest sitting. Don't worry. Representing the girls today. <laughs> all so cool. Okay, Zandara, what's the most important thing about driving? Fun. That's right! I was wondering if you were gonna get it. <laughs> Cheese ball. <laughs> so, I've never done this before. I don't know anything about cars. And I've just been learning so much just by watching and hearing and like knowing how they score it. So like, this is a, please don't judge me if you know a lot about this stuff. It's like um, a drifting um, competition sort of thing. And they judge you on three things, which is, oh, I'm gonna get run over by an ambulance. That would be so very ironic. Um, they judge you for three things, which is your line, which is like how close you get to the line for drifting. The second is style, so like the way that you, you let go of the clutch. I'm not even gonna bother explaining it. And then the third is line style and there's another one. I can't remember. If I remember, I'll let you know. So, and then they get to go after they like go for the qualifying round. They go for the actual round that you win or something like that. That's the extent to my understanding. I've heard a lot of info today. Only so much fits in here. So, you guys will learn with me. I'm trying to find a good spot to have video from. right now and doing their practice route um, and then after they do that for an hour then they actually do the qualifying round so this is my knowledge <laughs> so prepared. It's like I've done this before or something. <laughs> The whole drifting course was such a cool experience. I just want to go go-karting all the time now. Um, I uh, think it's cool when, oh, how do I say this? I think it's really cool when women go into things that women normally shouldn't because it's not like that anymore. And women are equal to men and it's really cool and exciting. And although sometimes we don't get to see the equality all the time, it's cool that there's people pushing for it, and I really respect that. So, is there something on my teeth? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Cameras. Um, go check out Zandara. She's super talented, super cool, and um, she will hopefully be posting more drifting photos if you're interested in that. And if not, I will probably be attending another drifting event with her at some time in the future. So hopefully I'll have more knowledge next time. Oh, and a convention vlog is coming up tomorrow because I also vlogged at that. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and good night or good day.